Coach, when you came in to this team, it looked very different than it does now. A couple of players left, and, and that was probably for the best. How much did you feel like you needed to make this your team in your No, it's a, I look at it as our team. Mm-hmm. I'm a Sienna, you know, it's, it's about Sienna, not about me. It's our team. Montreal helped. John Dargeny, our athletic director, Father Kevin, they allowed us to go to Montreal. A lot of schools at our size don't get to do that. Played five games in six days, kind of bonded. Montreal was a cool place, too. And uh, I knew some of the guys from recruiting, you know, but Rob Poole, Evan Himes, they were they, they bought in, so the rest of the guys followed. And the young guys are going to do what the old guys do. And we've had an interesting crew because I'm looking forward to coaching all of them. You know, Evan hurt his hand. Uh, Rob Poole's been sick lately. Javion's been hurt. Yeah. We, we've had, we haven't had our nine or ten guys. I'm looking forward to having them all to coach them. But they're very good people. They get along with each other well, which is interesting for a bunch of new guys. Welcome back to Saints Alive, only on Time Warner Cable Sports Channel. Here's a look at the Siena men's upcoming schedule, taking on Hofstra at home and then Fordham at home as well. Those games will both be live on Time Warner Cable Sports Channel, then on the road taking on Monmouth and back at home for another Time Warner Cable Sports Channel, taking on Ryder. Joining me, head coach Jimmy Patsos. This Hofstra game kind of interesting, a guy that you know very well coming into Joe town. Joe Halleck, yeah. Good yeah. guy, Joe's good guy, good coach. Mm-hmm. They're, in a, they're in a situation where they're, Obviously, this is his first season, too, not where he wants them to be. But uh, what, do you, what do you see out of that team so far this they year? They play a lot of zone, but they're mm-hmm. good. Joe's a little different than me. It's funny because Time Warner did a great job. We watched the Niagara telecast. Mm-hmm. It was very well done. It was weird to not see him, you know, when they showed the sideline yeah. in Niagara. Now, Joe's different. Like, I'll press and run no matter what. I'll just try to get the pieces to go. Joe's like, okay, I want to run and play fast, but I don't have it this year, so we're going to play all zone and slow it down. He'll try and grind out wins, which... I admire. I don't really have the ability to change that way. I don't really want to coach in zone, slow down style. Yeah. He's like this year they're they're grinding. They've got a transfer. They got a point guard from Monmouth, who's a fifth year senior. Mm-hmm. We don't have grad school. See, there's a new thing going on in college basketball. It's fine. I don't mind. There's junior college players, but now there's all these fifth year players. Like my friend Mike Lonigan's at GW doing a great job. Mm-hmm. He's got he's got Maurice Creek from Indiana. They're fifth year players. They've graduated in four. They redshirted. And now they have a fifth year. So Joe has a couple of them. So that's going to be interesting because they're not young kids. Like, I got young kids, and that's okay. Mm -hmm. But it's going to be interesting. I'm just glad we're playing. It's a bracket buster return game. They're going to try and keep that series going. Them and Fordham, two good games over the break. I'm glad we get to play here. Uh, Coach, eight games in, you guys are four and four. If you looked at the beginning of the season in your first eight and you said we'd be four and four, would that be about where you thought you would be? Would you hope to have won a couple of more games or or – is that where you thought you would be? Uh, with this group, there was so much and still is so much to be proven and figured out. Four and four, I'll take right now. Okay. Uh, we've had a pretty challenging schedule, mm-hmm. and three of our losses are to teams that played in the NCAA tournament the last year. And and the Green Bay one, we really competed on a neutral floor, and that could have gone either way. And they're a really tough team. Mm-hmm. So um, losing at Central Connecticut hurt a little bit. I thought that we'd be a little more competitive in that game. But overall, I'll take it. You know, four and four and some of the quality wins that we've had over teams like Buffalo and Sacred Heart at home, those were really big come-from-behind wins. So this team showed a lot of resiliency so far. Here's a look at the Siena women's upcoming schedule. Taking on Binghamton, that game will actually be live on Time Warner Cable Sports Channel on the 21st. That one is at home. Then they're on the road to start conference play and then back at home, taking on Ryder and back out on the road one more time. Joining us, Allie Jacks, the head coach of the Siena women's team. Let's talk a little bit about this upcoming schedule. One more non-conference game to get you guys set. And then the real season begins, I guess right. you could say, Mac play. Right. When non-conference, we always call season one. And we have one more game against Binghamton, who's a tough team. Their record might not show it, but they've been in every game. They just took Ryder to overtime mm-hmm. at home going into Christmas. We've got to be sharp. We've got to be mentally focused. We're really hoping to get a great crowd for that game. I know it's on television, but hopefully it won't snow as much on Saturday as it has this past week, and some people will come out and support our kids because they're working really hard. But, yeah, and then season two, we always call our conference season season two, and that's where... You know, all the preparation, every all the things you've learned from your non-conference season need to carry over, and you really kind of need to step on the gas pedal and start getting, um, you know, all those games really just kind of set you up for season three, which is postseason. So it's going to be tough. 